Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about CRUD. 90% of the software that we use every day are what we call CRUD applications. Most of the time we're using them without even realizing it. Most functions in software can be broken down into these four operations. Once you have these CRUD operations in your head, it can be really helpful when you come around to actually designing your own software. So CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, Delete, and it corresponds to what we do to records in the database. If you're using an application that allows you to read information, update it, then the chances are you're using a CRUD application. It's actually very difficult to come across an application that isn't using CRUD in some form. If you take Twitter, for example, tweets are created. You can obviously read them. You can update them if you're paying Elon for Twitter Blue, and you can delete them when you say something stupid and you hope no one else is going to notice. Even if you take things like Microsoft Word, you create documents, you obviously update them and you can delete them. Even when you're shopping on Amazon, the shopping basket is following the CRUD model as well. So you can add items to it, you can edit the quantity of them, you can remove them as well. So now you know what CRUD is, how do we actually go about using it in programming? So as I mentioned earlier, it's related to creating records in a database. So when you come about storing data anywhere in programming, chances are you're going to be using the CRUD model to do that. So if you store data in SQL, for example, the insert statement is your create statement. Obviously, the select statement is your read statement. There's an update statement as well, and there's a delete statement. It isn't just relational databases that is using the CRUD model. You can also see it in key value storage and NoSQL options. If you take DynamoDB, for example, you can see the CRUD operations in action with put item, get item, update item, and delete item. If you're going to be dealing and storing any data in your application, then it's good to think in terms of the CRUD model when you're thinking about modeling your application. But it isn't just the database where CRUD can be seen, it can also be seen in the API level as well. Obviously, it's great being able to create a database and have items in the database, but you need to be able to access them somehow. And usually the most common way to do this in a web application is using an API. So most of the time when we're creating APIs, we're creating what we call REST APIs. When you hear people talking about REST, you often hear the term resources, which is really just a fancy name for storing data. When you build out a REST API, you will build out a endpoint for each of the resources. If you're building out a shopping website, for example, your resources are likely to be your users, your products, the orders, the shopping basket, that sort of thing. In the relational database model, each of these resources is going to be represented by a table in your database. And then of course, you're going to want to create, read, update, and delete each of the records in your tables. To do this, we create an endpoint for each operation for every single resource that we have. So we end up with quite a lot of endpoints to be able to interact with our domain model. In REST, we use what we call the HTTP verbs. So we have post, get, put, we also have patch and delete. So if you imagine you're creating a user's endpoint, then you're going to have a post endpoint whenever you want to create a user. You're going to have a get endpoint to be able to get the user's details. And in some cases, you might have a generic get endpoint that gets multiple users, especially if you've got some admin backend. You're going to have a put endpoint to be able to update the details of that user. And in some cases, you may have a patch endpoint, which allows you to update individual fields without updating the whole record. And finally, you're going to have a delete endpoint that allows you to delete people from your system. Delete is a bit of a funny one because if you're dealing with relational databases or you need to sort of maintain some data integrity for some compliance reasons, we rarely actually delete the user user because if you delete a user then you're going to have to delete all of the orders that they've done as well and it gets a bit of a mess so even though you might have a delete endpoint on your api in reality it's probably just going to update the record in your database with an is deleted flag all of these endpoints are then used by the front end of your application so that users can interact with your application if you're struggling to work out how to build an application from scratch then work out what all of your different resources are work out the bits of information that you want to store and then build out an api build out all the endpoints so that you can interact with all of that data and then you can build a front end on top of that that allows users to actually use your application. CRUD is one of those mental models in programming that you really need to grasp and get your head around because it's used everywhere and once you have that mental model in your head you can use it to create any application that you want to. If you're new to programming, then it's not just the CRUD model that you need to know. You also need to know about data structures and algorithms, in which case you need to watch this video next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.